when it comes to smoothies there is a lot of buzz out there which one to choose green smoothie fruit smoothie do you know which one to choose and why you should choose it stay with your lady salome in this video as i talk about green smoothie and a fruit smoothie and which one you should choose and why you should go for that one stay tuned lovely people welcome to Ezra wellness where you learn proving ways to help to live in this is your lady Salome Adamako I'm a nurse and a functional nutrition counselor you say to yourself Salome is that you yes that's me I have a new hairdo that's why okay welcome to Ezra wellness if you are new to this channel I will say subscribe like this video and share it so that we will all grow healthy together today I'm talking about green smoothie versus fruit smoothie and why you should go for which one and why well when they come to fruits and vegetable they both contain fiber especially when you eat the whole fruit i mean like the apple you eat the whole apple with the skin and everything it have fiber so both will keep you full both fruit and vegetable also is low in sodium and because of that it's good for our overall health because of the fiber content in fruit and vegetable, they are healthy for our digestive system because it moves on to the large intestines to feed the good bacteria that lives in there. And because of these fiber benefits and everything, fruit and vegetable have been seen to lower our risk of a lot of diseases like heart disease, cancer, high blood pressure. Also, fruit and vegetable contains essential vitamins and minerals like your vitamin K, like your vitamin C, like your vitamin Bs, like magnesium, all these are found in fruit and vegetable. Because of that, it's essential for us to eat these two kinds of foods. But when it comes to making a smoothie, I always say you go for a green smoothie. Why is it green? It's because it's made up of vegetable base why do i say that when it comes to the metabolism of fruit the sugars that are found in fruit which is fructose is the liver that is the only organ in the body that is able to metabolize it when i say that i mean break it down and let me explain what that means let's say you eat oatmeal and you cut up apples and put it on top of the oatmeal and enjoy the whole bowl of oatmeal after eating the food goes on to the stomach is broken down it goes on to the small intestine and is absorbed into the bloodstream the oat contains glucose and the fruit contains fructose so what happens is that let's say there is a bus that is transporting the glucose and the fructose this bus will take the glucose and distribute it to all the other cells in the body let's say your head your hand your feet everywhere so the oatmeal will go and feed all these cells but when it comes to the apple that you added to the oatmeal it goes right to the liver this is one of the reason why when you eat fruit it doesn't raise your blood sugar right away so because it's only the liver that is able to use the fructose what happens is that in the liver it's about three to five pound organ so when it uses it whatever is left over that the liver cannot use the liver have to store it and how does it store it the liver store the fructose in the form of fat it packages it and stores it so if you're watching this video and you like a lot of fruit and you've been diagnosed with fatty liver disease i would say stay away from fruit and then eat more vegetable and see if that will help you heal in thus your fatty liver disease diagnosis you're watching me up to this time you have not subscribed to this channel i want you to pause this video hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my educative videos now let's go ahead another thing that is the reason why you want to go for a green smoothie instead of a fruit smoothie because you don't want to put so much work on the liver when it comes to green smoothie, there is this bile acid in the greens 
that we use for the smoothie that is known to lower blood cholesterol because of that adding greens to your smoothie instead of fruit is a great idea fruit also have been modified these days we have bigger apples we have sweeter apples sweet grapes and sweet this and sweet that because of that it's always a great idea to add more vegetable instead of fruit because when you do too much of the fruit because of all the modification and the sweetness and because the liver is storing it is going to store as fat and it's going to promote weight gain so you want to go for green smoothie if you are looking to lose weight also smoothies when you use the vegetable it makes it easier to eat because you know a lot of people have trouble eating their vegetables and if you have trouble eating your vegetables making it into a smoothie is one of the easiest way that you could enjoy your vegetables because you know that instead of sitting down eating a whole bowl of salad where chewing becomes a problem for you because you know when you don't chew properly too the body is not able to absorb it but when it comes to smoothie everything is already blended up and because of that it makes it easy for the body to absorb for you to get the nutrients that you required with all these blended nutrient also when you compare smoothie to juicing smoothie is easier to do because you just blend everything together at one time no cleanup and you are all set ready to go another reason why you should go for a green smoothie too when you use a greens as the base and then let's say you add some flax seeds to it or you add some avocado to it the avocado immediately makes this smoothie a whole meal and the flax seeds also do that if you don't have any health issues where lactans is a problem for you, you could also use chia seeds and it becomes a whole meal that you could enjoy and you keep you full for a long period of time. Also, eating more greens, especially in your smoothie, also improve the gut health because the bacteria in the small in, in the large intestines, most of the time we have to feed them some with raw vegetables and sometimes if you have a challenge eating your salad raw blending it and drinking them helps you to enjoy it and feed the good bacteria that is in your large intestines also a lot of green smoothies make your skin glow and you look beautiful because of that you want to incorporate greens into your smoothies when it come instead of doing veget um, instead of doing fruit because when you do a lot of fruit and the fruit has been modified to have more sugar in it it's going to pick blood sugar so if you're a diabetic and you're looking to enjoy smoothies add it to your diet using greens is a great idea you're saying to yourself salome now i want to add green smoothies to my diet what kind of greens would i use when it come to green smoothie I always say going for a variety is a wonderful idea. When I talk about variety, I'm saying this is lettuce. Sometimes I will just use lettuce leaves, the lettuce, the leaves. You could use that as the base of most of it. I also love these greens, arugula. You could get arugula in the store to buy. Most stores have it. I add it to the, the lettuce and then with some dates that I put in there to give a flavor and then my smoothie is ready to go. This leaf that I have here is also dandelion leaves. You could get it to buy in the store and dandelion is good for liver support. So you could also add that to your smoothie. Also, this one that I have here is spring mix. I love this spring mix because it have a variety of the greens in there. You could get your kale in there. Sometimes they have spinach, they have lettuce, they have some herbs. And because of that, it's a great go-to when you're getting the base for your green smoothie. You say in Salome, this green smoothie, do I have to make it every morning? Not necessarily. You can make the green smoothie and put it in the fridge for about three days and it will last you. But remember, when you have to put lemon juice in it, because if you don't add the lemon juice, when it's sit in the fridge for the three days, it changes color and that it, it oxidizes. To avoid that oxidation, you add the lemon juice to it and your green smoothie will stay green all the way to the end of the three days when you use it up. 
and you say salome i don't like green smoothie i understand when it comes to green smoothie it's a taste to acquire so give it a try if you're going for smoothies or if you are trying to introduce vegetable into your diet and you are not sure where to go green smoothie is a place to start now you know the reason why you should enjoy green smoothies instead of a fruit smoothie and now i'm going to put the recipe of my favorite green smoothie which is also a liver support underneath the video so that you could make it and enjoy it what is your favorite ingredient that you add to your smoothies give me a comment in the video and let me know are you new to this channel don't forget to subscribe and when you do click on the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my educative videos until i see you in the next video remember this is ezra wellness where you learn proving ways to healthy living thank you for your time